everybody, welcome to Adara Unboxed. I'm Adara, I unbox things, and today we're gonna be doing a Tavor Craft beer unboxing. I don't have my beer, I gotta go get it. And you're gonna come with me. First things first, if you would like $10 off of your first Tavor crate of craft beverages, then there is a referral link down below in the description that will get you that $10. When you order some fun drinks on Tavor, they give you the option of having it shipped directly to your home, which is so convenient. They also have a new shipping service where they can ship it to a place and you can go pick it up. For example, Michael's. Isn't that a strange place to go pick up your beer? But there is a third option, and that is going to the Tavor warehouse to pick up your order in person. I have chosen to do that this week, A, because I'm curious what the warehouses look like, and B, because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay for shipping. If for some reason you have no idea what Tavor is and you just happen to be here for some other reason, <laughs> I'm going to leave some links to my past Tavor unboxings down below where I go into detail about what Tavor is and how to use it. This video and my crate of beer would not be possible without a few people that used my referral code to in turn get me some free beer. So I would like to thank Lindsay, Sylvia, Brian, Christopher, Landon, Daniel, and Spencer. Thank you guys so much for using the referral code. And if you haven't used a referral code before, use the one down below in the description because I'll get more free beer. Okay, thank you. Let's go get some craft beer. I'm back and I've secured some tasty beer. I don't really know why I even bothered showing going to the Tavor warehouse to pick up an order. I think part of me thought it was gonna be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, except a beer factory, and something magical would happen. It didn't. It was very cut and dry, and there were actually a lot of people coming in every couple of minutes to pick up their beer. But yeah, if you live in the Seattle area, it's uh, probably a good way to save 15 bucks. All right, I wanna show you the beers that I got, and this might be my best Tavor haul ever. I'm going to try some of these today and get a little day drunk. It's a snow day here in Seattle, so I figure why not? Okay, so as you can see, I got quite the haul. There are 12 of these best made pickle beers, which I'm so excited about. Those are the ones that I'm going to test taste today. Taste test today. <laughs> I'm not drunk yet, I swear. If you've ever had the best made pickle beer, you know it's a winner, clearly, because it's basically beer and pickle juice mixed together and it's so good. These are a little bit different. This is a best made pickle beer variety pack. And this variety pack that came with 12 of these best made pickle beers was $39, which is, I think, a great price. I know that sounds so expensive for a 12 pack, but it comes out to around $3.25 per beer, which is, I think, a great price for a specialty beer, especially if it's gonna taste like pickles. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Okay, so I wanna start, oh my God, please don't fall. Okay, so I wanna start by taste testing these pickle beers and then I'll go through the whole collection that I got and share these with you because there's some really cool can art and some interesting flavors here. But I'm not gonna taste test all of the big cans today, the 16 ounces, because those are um, expensive. Okay, so there's a bit of a difference in percentage here. Two of these I think are 6.5% and two are 4.7%. So the 6.5% are the bread and butter and the chamoy drip. 4.7s are the Bloody Mary and the spicy. How do we want to start here? I think I want to start with the Bloody Mary one. That sounds the best to me. So let's do it. Am I supposed to shake it? Probably not. <laughs> I wish this was easier to find in Washington state. It's not, but this is made in Texas by Texans. And that makes sense <laughs> for a pickle beer. Oh, it's, yeah, Ooh. I think it smells just like a red beer, but yeah, pickly. Mm. 
Oh, I probably poured too much. I forgot I'm drinking four of these, but I'm gonna drink them all anyways. Who cares? Okay, cheers. This looks way less red than I thought it would be. It looks kind of just like a cloudy beer. It looks heavy. It looks like there's like something heavy in it. Whoa. I don't think it's as good as just the regular pickle beer because the pickle flavor, it's there. Oh boy, and it really like punches your tongue and like makes you drool, you know what I mean? It's a lot more subtle of a pickle flavor than the regular pickle beer, but it's just spicy. It doesn't even really taste like tomato, like a Bloody Mary would, but it has the spice from a Bloody Mary mix. It has a lot of flavor without having a lot of flavor. Does that make sense? It's almost like it's only kicking my sour and my spicy senses, but I'm not tasting a ton of flavor. On to the next one. Ooh, it's sour. Okay, I wanna try this chamoy drip pickle. I've never had a chamoy pickle, but I know it's like all the rage right now. This is a lower percentage. This one's only 4.7, or wait, no, this is the higher percentage. Okay, this one's the higher percent. The one I just drank was a 4.7. You know what, I already feel it. I think it's because it's breakfast time and I'm drinking the breakfast of champions, which is pickle beer. So this chamoy drip is a 6.5 and I can only assume that this is going to be like when you get a michelada, michelada, michelada. Every time I order one at a restaurant, I always say it differently and no one ever corrects me, so I don't know how to say it. It just reminds me of like if a fruit roll up were melted and then it's like spicy and sweet. That, I think it's gonna taste like that. Let's hope it tastes like that. Oh, oh, it smells kind of skunky. It smells sweeter for sure. Again, not very red. It smells weird. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. What, is that what a chamoy pickle tastes like? Oh, I don't like it. I don't even know how to describe this. Oh my God, it tastes like a scratch and sniff sticker. Do you know like the stickers from the 80s or 90s that were scratch and sniff, but they'd be like weird. It'd be like a picture of a, like a, a cartoon face of a man and like it's like scratch and smell his mustache. It tastes like you're not supposed to drink it. The amount of nostalgia that I am getting from drinking this related to a sticker or a toy of some sort that had a weird scent is insane. It is like taking me back to some weird like flea market that my dad took me to when I was a kid. Okay, next, let's try the bread and butters pickle beer. This one is a 6.5% as well. If you're watching right now, leave me a comment below. And let me know, are you a sour pickle person or a sweet pickle person? And does that relate to what you grew up with because I grew up with sweet pickles. So for a very long time, I did not like sour pickles. It probably took until like my late twenties for me to start liking sour pickles. Isn't that crazy? It smells, it smells the most pickly out of all of them so far. Oh, that isn't bad at all. This tastes very similar to the regular pickle beer that Best Made makes, or I guess Best Made doesn't make it. Whoever makes it. Martin House Brewing Company in Fort Worth, Texas. This tastes the most similar to the regular pickle beer that they put out with just like a touch of sweetness, like just a touch. I still prefer the regular pickle over this, but this is very close to it. Might even be higher alcohol percentage, so I don't know. To each his own. We're down to the last taste test pickle beer, and that is the spicy pickle beer. I can only assume this one is going to be pretty straightforward and delicious. Smell like spice. Oh, there's the red color that I've been waiting for. That's beautiful. Yeah, it smells spicy. I wonder if it's gonna be extremely spicy. Let's see. Oh God, this one's horrible. 
it almost tastes like if you're at like a frat party and somebody like mixes a bunch of leftover cups, the drinks from leftover cups together and then like dares you to drink it and you do. Yeah, it tastes like that. Why does it taste like that? I don't understand how they, how this passed some kind of taste test for them to be like, yeah, let's sell that to people. Along with the other one that tastes like a scratch and sniff sticker. I don't get it. Why is it so bad? It shouldn't be bad. It should just be pickle beer with some chili powder, pepper? I don't know. It tastes like dirt. It tastes like if you mixed a handful of soil in with your pickle beer and a bunch of chili powder. Oh, it's not good. This one's not good. Oh, I'm disappointed that like half, half of my 12 pack is not good. I also don't remember if I showed this to you, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, those two are not good. Okay, so between Bloody Mary pickle beer and bread and butter's pickle beer, this one, this one's the best, the bread and butter pickle beer. So if you see that, that's a good one. This one's not, the Bloody Mary one isn't bad, but it doesn't have a ton of flavor. Now we've tried them and rest assured, I will be drinking these over the course of the next few hours and I will be very drunk on gross pickle beer and you're welcome. Now I would love to show you the rest of the beers that I got because I got some really cool ones. This one is like not that cool. Well, I don't know, maybe it's super cool. This is from Indeed Brewing Company and it is their Mixed Nuts Cream Ale. It sounded good to me. It's a 5.5% and it has nutty flavor in it. A bread flavor, a salt flavor, and nuts flavor. That sounds really good to me. And I paid only $5.99 for this. That's not bad for a 16 ounce, right? Um, hopefully that ends up being good. And then we have the Operation Peacherine. This is from Dark House Brewing Company in collaboration with Freestyle Hops. This is an IPA with peacherine hops. Okay, full disclosure, I got it because it has Princess Peach on it. And it's like not even really a very attractive Princess Peach. She's definitely in like full gorilla mode where she's fighting some kind of war. I knew full well getting this that it, it's not gonna taste like peaches. I feel like that would fool a lot of people. So like shame on them, but I think it's just made with a certain kind of hop that's called peacherine. I'm sure it tastes nothing like peaches. I and mean, it could, that'd be great if it did. I'd appreciate it. But this is a 7.1% heavy hitter, 16 ounce, and she cost me $8. Next up is this beauty. This one sold out so fast and I know why. It's the same reason I bought it. It's because it's called the Troll Toll Cometh and it has an Always Sunny in Philadelphia art style on the can. Isn't that great? There's Frank as the troll and then there's everybody. I can't see my viewfinder. who's who. Except Mac and there's D I think and then Charlie and Dennis. I just thought that the can art alone was worth it and apparently everybody agreed because we sold it out really fast. So this is a 7%. It's an IPA, a New England IPA. And it is from Stellwagen Bagger. Stel, Stel Wagon. It's from Stel Wagon Brewing, I believe. And this one cost me $8 as well. It looks so cool. And you know what I do with these cans? I peel off this label and it comes off really nicely and I'll just stick it onto a piece of paper. And then my idea is that someday when I have like a nice little collection of cute can art labels and like my own space to have a little bar, then I'll make some little wall art with them and put them up next to it. I thought that'd be really cute. Okay, next we have this frickin' beauty. I saw this play. Look, look, she's so cute. What are you doing back there, mama? This one has some of the most beautiful can art I've ever seen. It's like holographic and like just gorgeous in person. And it's this cool little sloth man. This is from Lupin Brewing and it's called Swanky Sloth, as it should be. I strictly bought this because of the can art. Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't that look beautiful if I had my own little bar and like put wall art next to the bar and have this up there? Heck yes, baby. 
This is, this is probably the other reason I got this. This is an 11%. <laughs> Yay! And it's a triple IPA. Honestly, I always feel a little bit better about spending this much on a beer if it's high alcohol percent because it means I'm not gonna have to drink several beers. I can just drink the one and I'll get there. This one cost $8 as well. You're just having a blast over there, aren't you, mama? Next up is the Electric Pegasus. This is from... Hidden Springs Ale Works, and it's a rainbow sherbet sour ale with strawberry, orange, and lime. Again, I did get this because of the can art, but also because it said it's supposed to taste like sherbet ice cream, and that sounded good to me. It's a 5.5%, so not a super heavy hitter, but like, again, another one that's just so cute, and hopefully it'll be tasty. And this one also cost $8. Next up, we have a chunk. Okay, so this is from Drecker Brewing. This company is so popular. Their beers sell out really quickly on Tavor. People really love them. This is not my first chunk. I've had another chunk and it was delicious. So this is chunk pineapple whip, Sunday sour, and it's supposed to taste like Dole Whip from Dairy Queen. From Dairy Queen. It's supposed to taste like Dole Whip from Disneyland. I'm excited to try it. It's a 16 ounce and it is, what's the percent? This is a 6.1% and this one cost me $8.49. And last but not least, I got a 903 Brewers Mr. Stay Puffed Slushy. I'm probably gonna hate it, but the can art baby. So I would assume most of the people watching this don't watch my channel regularly, but in one of my vlogs, I definitely talked about how I have like a weird relationship with the Statue of Liberty and kind of Stay, stay Puffed Man because of the Ghostbusters movie. And I had um, or a lot of nightmares from that. But now I think it's funny to laugh at my my fears as a child. I think this is just a 12 ounce. It's a very skinny can. It is a 12 ounce. It's 6.2% and it has stuff. Oh, you have to keep it cold because it has fresh fruit in it. So you have to, you know, refrigerate it. So this has raspberry, pineapple, apricot, marshmallow flavor, and vanilla. It's a Berliner Weiss style ale. This one was only $6.99, so not too bad. With all of these beautiful beers, I didn't have to pay anything because you lovely people who watch my videos were kind enough to use the referral code that again is linked down below so that if you wanna try to for the first time, you can get $10 off. And because of that, I also get $10 in referral money and then I got to spend it on all this delicious beer. So thank you. I think that Oh my gosh, can I show you this? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my gosh, can you see it? <gasps> Look at those birds! I'm only a little drunk. I, I'm so sorry, but that was like a, form a V formation of like a hundred birds. That was crazy. It probably wasn't that crazy. It's crazy to me right now in this moment and I will share that. Tavor is really cool. If you're a craft beer connoisseur, it's a great place to check out what is happening in the beer community and to try some great beers, have them sent directly to your home or go pick them up at the Tavor warehouse if you live near Tequila, Washington. I think that's it for me. If you guys have any questions about any of the beers that I have purchased or about Tavor, please let me know and I'll try my best to answer those questions if you leave them down in the comments. I hope you all have wonderful holidays if I don't see you before then and um, a wonderful new year. Cheers, friends. <laughs>